Cam? Pick. I don't know. Uh, he's around the same. Okay. Yeah. Sam's way down there these days. Yeah, she's she's, uh, she's dumpstered. The dumpster tier runner. She can jungle. Rasta. That is true. I mean, I, I love myself some Sierra. She's actually the best hero ever. But... Rasta does not have that, that luxury. Does it doesn't really not have Ten the stats there. Remaining. No, it does. Have it somewhere. I just forget how to click it. Ah, oh, there it is. That's five about. seconds okay. remaining. She oh yeah, she's two seventy five now, so she is slower. I think he's two eighty. Speaking of AA, they will pick it up Dyer for SG, which is a classic pick. with a Weaver, I think. Um, and that means that this oh, he's two eighty five. I guess it could be an AA. Maybe we saw that from Smell from time to time, but it probably is the mid lane for ADR. Yeah, I would so assume. I actually think that AA would have been so good for Infamous, but it's also good for Weaver because that was used to be an old classic. Was yes. the uh, Geminate attack in each apparition, Ten seconds yep. adding that bonus damage. So. This will be quite good for them. They don't have the best Five setup. Well, I guess remaining. the thing is they have the blink from Tavo, and then as long as Nyx can follow up with a stun, they do have a long duration to allow them to Reserve get that Ice Blast time. in there. So great way to counter up against the Viper. Very solid stuff here. Could look for an Oracle, potentially. Now, oh, usually, like, man. against AoE saves, it's not very good. Yeah. But with Viper being, like, such the main Lion. target and Razor, too, could it... You called it. Oh, it was my first guess. I'm still pretty pleased with that. I'm not going to lie. Because <laughs> like I never years. see a fucking lion. And I did just snipe it. But I, will I, should, it I shouldn't have uh, I will shouldn't give it went away you. with my... You should have just said, I'm picking I always lion. dive to... The lion was the gut. But honestly, who, who takes lion? Just say, I'm picking lion and then stop talking. I think the oracle yeah, was good, it. though. Oracle would have been insane, dude. Yeah. If you picked that, then I'm like, I'm done. Because oracle is never picked anymore. No, was well, he, uh, he's more popular than lion, dude. Did he get picked this tournament at all? Uh, at the very start. For sure. There were actually like quite a few line, er, uh, Oracle pickers. picks there. Yeah, <laughs> there were a lot of Oracle pickers, actually. That's... Nine Lion games so far. All picks. And uh, he's doing all right. He's uh, four and Who's five. It's not terrible. Alchemist with one game, one loss, I think. Wow, yeah. One game, one loss for Alk. We had one game for Winter Wyvern, Morphling. Even Monkey King has two games. Jeez. That's kind of insane. You know you're in trouble when Monkey King's getting picked more than Our you after those nerfs. Two. Where's Oracle? Is he like three or four, probably? Uh, let's see. Hey, 17, 17 games, 60% he win rate More games than Viper, and Viper mm. has a 31% win rate. Oh, that feels nice. The Viper fan. Yeah. The picks are, uh, they're fairly balanced, actually. It's a, it's a decent spread. You know, there's definitely a top-heavy group of, like, the top. Anyone above, like, 75 is pretty ridiculous. Even, like, Legion Commander at 76 picks. Very popular heroes. And, and then we get to this really big mid-tier. This is what's so beautiful about Dota 2. It's great. It makes it so interesting. There's uh, a lot of couple picks out there for different teams. Of course, they're all very, very... It's uh, amazing to see how these how these teams decide to get the heroes that they love to play. And we will jump into the game, and we will see how Tomato does again on the Viper, and if it's going to be a quick 3-0 for Infamous to get to TI, or if SG Esports have the fortitude to come back. The willpower, even. i got to go with my Lion. I think he's got it. I don't know, man. Viper and Lion on the same team. I don't feel as confident for Infamous this time around as I do. Prepare I think, I, but I, SG Esports, they have such good lanes. And it always gets bad. Excel and KRD are going to find each other. Team with the first barracks kill, by the way. I would assume infamous. But that's just because they have a good pushing team. Uh, well, there's a Weaver and Lena. That's pretty good, too. I don't know. It's, it's, a a it's a tough call. That's a tough one. I'm just clicking things. Team of the mo Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Team of the most Yeah, 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 yeah. Pure damage. This one I have to think about. Pure magical damage. Poison attack is magical. Okay. Yeah. So that could be it. Lena is pretty good though. I would say Lena probably. Uh, and then longest kills. All right. I'm happy with these. There is a fight breaking out potentially. Although Age of Fen Gucci's away. <laughs> Same thing again. Yeah. Just getting aggressive. Infamous did so, I think, in the last two games, getting first blood each time. This time they will not have that first blood to fall back on. Instead, it will just be two runes for them, two aside, and uh, we'll see how these lanes shape up. HFN's already moving towards the top lane, it looks like. Change the lanes up and send Tavo down bottom. Because they know there is an aggressive tri lane coming in. Or an aggressive dual lane, potentially, from Infamous. No, it's an aggro tri lane. And once again, it's all about this idea of giving Tavo, I think, quite a bit. Uh, he works pretty well in these scenarios. The ward does not block the camps. It's only going to be giving vision down here, so Tavo will still have something to work with here. Uh, definitely goes best if they have rotated out at that point. I think they do want the Weaver matchup uh, as well up against the Razor. So yeah, we'll we'll see if we get musical lanes going. That's I, that's what I kind of expect. We saw it yesterday, I think, from Infamous, I believe. 
And uh, I imagine we'll see it again. You can already see down here, Excel has a TP scroll, so he's ready to move. Yeah. And uh, there will be a dueling top, King RD along with HFN, so they actually don't have the Ancient Apprehension. He's starting mid for Cats, and so that means Tomato will have to back up. That's a good choice. Um, he's holding on to the point. He went Poison Attack last time, but Nether Toxin might be better in just terms of getting off to a faster start. And yeah, the TP's already coming out from, I think, Excel. Yeah, that's it. King RD will take some sticky napalm stacks. That'll do it. I like this choice though. I mean, Cat just in the mid lane. I think you want to put as much pressure on Tomato as you can. Just make sure it's really easy for uh, ADR first. So uh, Lion has made his rotation up to the top lane. We'll see if uh, Weaver is happy with the situation. Generally, Weaver is happy up against the Batrider, but uh, we might see him stay up here to like level three or four, or, you know, even a little bit higher, and then try and put some pressure on the Razor to slow down that farm. And let's see what they want to do. Sentry thrown down, but already dropped. there's That's no ward there. Yeah, I was like. Who's that for? It's not for the ward because there's one there. Just hoping they can get some sort of play on the, uh, the uh, Weaver, I guess, and hope they can hold the wave here and just constantly deal with him during Chikuchi. Tries to make an aggressive play. So Earth Flight goes out, but Excel, of course, no Arcane Orc kind of thing. Like the CM, he will have his Mana Drain later on in the game once he gets sick of the levels. Uh, but for now, he's got to clear it up. King, Ke King Tekka also has one Mango, but that is it. And you can see Cat's ready. Like, a lot of times you'll have that swarm a little earlier. Just trying to be aggressive in the lane, but already ready for the rotation. Like should be giving away for Blood. Earth Spike, one more auto attack. They just need one. He's behind the tower. I cannot believe he made it out alive. The Cold Feet did not proc. Maybe it was the Windlace. Maybe it was something just not enough in terms of damage. They couldn't quite bring it down. That was... That it was, was so well thought out by SG Esports too. Like it was right when Cat hit two, he's rotating up, and he took the Gemini attack to make sure he'd get the double, and it just did not work. That is... Earth spike to go. Oh, but mid lane, he smoked up. He's gonna see this courier. Oh, the scan comes out though. It looks like ADR knows this is coming. That is the perfect time for a scan. Wow, they've been on point with these scans. And uh... judging by his, yeah, yeah, it's very nice actually. I'm not gonna find the courier either. He only has a sentry too, oh, doesn't even have a ward to place down. It's coming back actually, but they have no vision. They will break the smoke momentarily. Dude, ADR. she is looking. He will try to find it, but already Matthew's too far away. Because he has the wind lace move speed. Um, King Tech is starting to get zoned out. They will give a free lane down bottom to the Razor, pretty much. But it's not like... Otavo actually is sitting only at two last hits, so he's had, he's had a pretty rough time as of recently. But now we'll finally get some of to work with. So yeah. Okay. Not much going on. A lot of fighting. Good farm for the lane at 21 last hits. Tomato's not. Again, sort of happened last game with the SF, but it's not looking that great again uh, for Tomato to start off with. Yeah, we're going to have to try and catch up here. As he does get some probably higher points than the other toxin. It's not quite as bad as last week. He was saying that at least have two points in that. Throw some skin to throw some hate back over to ADRs. Matthew will need to pause here, but certainly looking forward to when King Tekka does get that lasso up and watch his rotations with the lion. This used to be kind of an old classic where you'd have lion and bat rider because the lasso comes out doing all this damage. You can keep chain stunning him, but if it's someone who's extra tanky, you just throw out the finger. Yep. Make sure you guarantee that kill and life's easy. And up against the Reaper, there's that extra value of being someone so squishy and the double stun is, uh, it's like he's a hero that can just do so much on his own. You know, you don't have to rely on your other support so much and that frees up a lot for Matthew. He can be targeting someone in the back lines like this ancient apparition if he happens to trying to be close to the cold people, close to the ice vortex. There's so much value to an AA that actually sticks around now and isn't flying from across the map. Yeah, he might need to be in fights and we'll see if that's going to be the case. Thelina, however, so Tomato, by the way, does go for that two points in the Corrosive skin as anticipated. He didn't do it, I think, last game. He went like no, he went two, 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 yeah, two, two, zero, actually. In fact, yeah. so a completely different build to be expected when you're against Selena, who is right now off the map getting bounty runes and kind of, I think, just taking jungle stacks. Because the lane was kind of yeah, far and pushing. King Rd is going to even secure up a regen rune here, and Matthew can't even force him off of it. Can't like force the regen grab. And King Tekka is on the way, but he's not going to find it in time. So. 40R will grab it. He will back away with a regen rune in tow, which is that's pretty huge. good. Yeah, that's very solid for him. Like he for he needs long. to keep an edge going for himself in this lane because it's going to get tougher and tougher as more levels are packed on the Tomato here. <laughs> and they even rotate the uh, AA back over as well, which makes Tomato's life a little bit harder. Three points corrosive now. He's waiting for that big gank to come in. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it will, because it's not like he's really winning the lane. He is starting to catch Dude, up. Dude, he's got a big level advantage over him. Tomato. Uh, yeah, that's true. Again, probably because the support's been there for the entire time. And ADR has been out of the lane a fair so. bit. This is that rotation we were looking for, too. Uh, around, like, the four, like, fourth level or something like that. Razor goes back up to the top lane. Batrider comes down bottom. And they can try and put some pressure onto this tower. And she 
has been smoked up. They're going to try to make a go to Mato. They're going to turn on the C14. The battery Sultan Cogs are there. The cold feet, though. And Mato needs to get a couple more auto attacks to get this. LSA comes out, and Tomato walking up means he will go down. First blood, bit of a bait. Matthew trying too hard to find this kill, and Tomato turning around when he was very low already means that it will be almost a two for one. And Infamous will lose their big mid laner early on into the game. Can we just throw down the regen rune and we can do it all again? Yes, he's feeling good. Isn't it? It's one of the best. Yeah, that was. Matthew is struggling in experience right now. Like, and I know this is probably expected from a clockwork, but it feels like it's too much almost. Level two still at six minutes into the game or thereabouts. Yeah, not really finding his place like in the mid lane or something like that. Doesn't have the best heroes to do it with. Maybe that's the problem. Like with the Razor or something, you need a really good wrap to create this moment where there's going to be a good stacking to get off. Viper slow isn't that effective at such a low level. This for skin to be skin to be survival. It's like a 10%. So difficult to do too much with Matthew. Definitely a lot of pressure on him. At least he spots King RD here. The sentry drops down. Matthew will see him. Cat roaming up as well. A lot of pressure already on this tower. This tier one is in some trouble. It's below 50% HP. The siege creep is doing even more. They will back up. They drop a ward down on the high ground. Yeah, four four heroes spotted. here. Like Tavo's up top, just pressuring, stealing the bounty rune, taking some small Giant camps, and he goes back for his own bounty rune. Three heroes in the mid lane, and uh, once again, it's all alone. HFN just trying to push in this tower, just some pressure on the King Tekka, and not let him get out of control like he has been in the previous two games. Oh, he viper struck too, but Matthew wasn't nearby enough. Usually when you have boots and you have Viper Strike, you're able to get a kill if you have a support nearby, but it's not the case. Lean is pretty fast too with Fiery Soul. So Fortier is able to get away just fine. Now a rotation bottom, a smoke up, and could be King Tekka dead. He's got oh, Firefly, Weaver coming in. Nick's looking for a mana burn, looking for an impale as well as Spike Carapace. That should be enough to secure the kill. Earth Spike to fly out, the flame break pushed back, and now PRD might get caught here. Excel looking for a couple more auto attacks. Now the static with the plasma field is just enough. Can they find this Weaver? HFN, no Scoochie for five seconds. They need another Earth Spike. One more auto attack, and they won't find him. HFN will Scoochie away again here. Matthew coming through. Oh, Excel's trapped. The creeps. No! Oh, he's dead. He's got to turn back around, too. That's huge. Oh. HFN getting an extra kill that he probably shouldn't have even gotten to Plasma Field. Not there in time. HFN, despite losing 126 damage, is still able to do enough to bring Excel down. A bit unfortunate for the line support. And now they're looking for mid. HFN is going all the way around. They're setting up for a gank here and trying to push in. King RD looking for something. Not able to find it. Spike here is not going. HFN. Scoochie's right there. He gets one auto attack as he gets Jeez. under the tower. Very dangerous. They will take it. Matthew cannot find any initiation. And also coming in is Ben Haas. And already a tier one tower taken down at 7 minutes 50 seconds. Going the way of SGE Sports. Yeah, TP way out on the back lines. Uh, we've won it okay. And tower down. King RD and Matthew, the battle of these bullying supports. King RD on top by quite a bit. All right, so this is another good start for SGE Sports in the landing phase. But uh, that's happened before. And I don't know. I mean, this looks way better than some of the other starts they've had, though. Alina is crushing it. They've killed Tomato once. They've stopped and slowed down the farm of King Tekken with a kill. They've gotten the tier 1 tower mid. Oh, again, this Carapace into stun is so obnoxious. I'll say it's right out. Yeah. It should be enough with one auto attack. Maybe he not. Finish he actually didn't finish him. He left. He didn't want to get caught. And King Tekken will survive, and they will turn it into one kill. Earth Spike not there in time. Very close for Excel. Yeah, it just goes for it. Might as well. Ooh. Hope for the best. That was sketchy. And I, yeah, I guess you, the thing is, if that Lena doesn't start moving at that point, she's probably dead, maybe? I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, one more right click, though. It's just, it hurts. One more weedy, dude. You know, bigger breakfast. Maybe would have had that one. That's all it takes. Uh, HFN looking towards the early Lincoln Spear. Pretty good game for it. Into the Bat Rider, of course. I think he took forever. Firefly to come through, but he's fine. Forces it out. If they had detection, maybe they could find it. They don't have Lasso yet. He is level 7. He's holding the point, I believe. He's... Actually, yep. five points. So he's holding two points right now. That's a little weird. That's kind of strange, though, right? Really doesn't know what he wants. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah. That yeah, can be tough. You know, if you're fighting, sometimes maybe you want a little bit more in the sticky napalm. It can be. It can be pretty bad. Very disruptive to certain people, especially someone like a weaver. All right, level four for the clockwork. He's actually the supports on Infamous aren't doing that poorly. You already have level five for Excel. You're gonna have that finger pretty soon. It's going to be pretty nice to have the burst down some of these heroes. Uh, again, they did take that tier 1 tower down mid, so there's a little bit more map control for oh. SG Esports. He got the, the boys. He confirmed those ancients. Oh. I guess he didn't notice, though. We'll see. Uh, he's still got the firefly. Can he get a stack? No, nah, you don't want stack. Matthew's going to see it now, I think. They're pretty different. I mean, yeah, you can definitely do them. It takes a lot of mana, but it's pretty worth it.
worth it. Yeah, right. Oh, nice. That, that was good, though. He, he got it with the double stack. That's a better play, anyway. That's pretty good. Yeah. That is pretty good. All right. It's modeled building into the Dragon Lance. I think it's Drum for Razor. He's been building it every game. Or rather, we've seen it yep. built every game on Razor. And uh, he, he really likes the SNY, which is kind of cool. Not too many Razors opting for that. Been uh, quite a few evolutions of the hero over the past while. I think it might have been him when we first started seeing Razor again. It was like, it was Benha's doing like phase drum SNY. Mm -hmm. I know that like Agony mm -hmm. was purchased for somebody. Yep. He did that in one of his games already, this one with that exact build, so. Uh, no, everyone's kind of off the old. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, nice. This could be troublesome. It's good spike carapace. Tabo is rotating up. 40 yard burrow strike to follow up. It should be a dead Benha since they have the LSA to follow up and uh, they're waiting, trying to bring it down with Laguna Blade. They will trade for a support bottle, but Excel should be next. He's got an earth spike and he gets it on it too, but Tabo's coming in. He actually doesn't have the mana for Burrow. Now he does. No chance coming out. Zero. So a double kill for 40 yard. Very good start for this Lena. Feeling very strong and going four staff first against this Clockwork from Infamous. Yeah, and this is definitely the terrifying part about their draft is that they do have an insane amount of just chain stuns. And, you know, that's why you look towards this like orc or some kind of hero attack. like that maybe in the end. But they went for the aggressive choice instead of the lion, so it can look pretty rough early. But if this mid game they get ahead uh, with King Tech and some sort of a blink and four staff, and that's when the lion can really light things up and also gives you a chance of killing a weaver. Then you know these witch doctor dazzle heroes they just don't have the tools to deal with a weaver like someone like Lion does. So. It's rough now, but the payoff later is still. Oh, nice shot. Uh, wow, that just barely hit on the cat. They're looking for two. They will only find, it looks like, one, maybe. HFN, he's able to get out. Gucci just in time. They don't have the detection. He will be Top spotted. Lane. Epicenter coming in. They're going to try to find Ben Haas again. There's the Dragon Slave, and he should fall. LSA, it misses. Can he make it out? He's got it now. He will use it, and it might be in time. The Caustic Finale. They need one more auto attack. Oh they can't again. find him again. Another narrow escape. Here comes King RD. The battery sold. Rather, the Cogs will push him back. They'll find the Earth Spike. Viper Strike. They need ADR. They're going to try to find him. The LSA to try to cover his retreat. There's that finger. Dead in the dirt is ADR, and they're going to find more. King RD flared up, drop down. Tava will be next. He has a TP scroll, but can he get out? He has no mana to do so, and here comes Tomato, the big bad viper. A couple of auto techs. The cog pushback. King Tekka gets the kill. He picks up the blade dagger, and it is three down for SGE Esports yeah, again. Tavo's quelling blade. This <laughs> is the real grab. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh my god. That was uh. Whew. Almost works. Radiance top oh man, is that is brutal. That oh god, it, it feels like this every time for it's esports. They're so close, so close, and then just something Patience happens. Something goes so wrong. Close. Like you kill that razor, feels so good. Yeah, forty yards kicking himself, man. Eighty yards, like I can't believe I missed that. I don't know. That's not. It's just rough. It's just unfortunate. It's just unlucky. I would call it, if anything. And then it just turns around drastically. If it was are able to capitalize on some of these. I wouldn't call them mistakes, but better situations. Radiance and they're able to turn it around pretty crazily attack. like they did there. And now it's going to get harder as that Blink Dagger is up for Kate Tekka. You have level 6 for the Clockwork. Obviously, he had it before. You have the level 6 for the line. Obviously, he used it before. So all of a sudden, you have a pretty good timing window here. SGE Esports still have a slight advantage. King RD is invisible. The Vendetta is going. They're looking for Tomato. This would be the biggest picket they could find. They're about a to walk there. into a sentry, though. They've got Lasso. King Tekka won't use Lasso. Not yet. Viper Strike come through. He gets it off. At least it's by Kevin Tau. He's the Burrow Strike. The LSA. They want King Tekka, but a great Earth by coming up. They will get King RD. They will turn and kill Queen Tekka, though. And Davos holding next to the like Ice Blast coming through. It does hit on Doxel. A lot oh, of damage. Excel, he's going to die. I think he's shattering here. Yeah, he's definitely dead. And it's going to be two kills per side. So, wow. considering so they had vision of him to start, that it went way better for SG Sports than yes. you'd think it would have. They were maybe mind gaming a bit too much and just like too worried about when the care was going to happen. Where is Matthew going? Do I want to lasso this guy? You know, stuff like that. Oh, Matthew, this is not the play. Oh, uh, what? This is crazy. He's going to get Laguna bladed, but he has the range ups. Gets forced away, though. He has it already, and that should be it. They missed the LSA again. Matthew trying to run. He's got stick charges. He's going to fall. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. Maybe he didn't know about the four staff. He must not know about the four staff. That's the only explanation. That was the oddest play I've ever seen. Last Matthew, bottom one in my life. He's gonna go for the TP, and he will burn to death before he can take it out. All right, well, last one, two players in fog. It's, all right, well, we're gonna forget that one, I guess, but. <laughs> Let's just leave it behind. <laughs> Let it go. Sometimes it happens, man. These are tense games. I gotta say, despite sometimes you drop your quelling blade, sometimes you hook a lead. 
That's just the life. It is. Nice, nice catch on that kill in the mid lanes. Tavo does escape from the bottom. Into the river. He's the bottom feeder. And it looks like get he's it? dead. Because he's dying. I got it. And he's in the water. I got it. He's a bottom feeder. I get it. <laughs> that, was, well how, that was pretty funny. Well done, Chris. Thanks, guys. I was laughing hard earlier, and now I just have to laugh. Okay, that's good. All right, we have the SMY coming out for Tomato. Um, yeah, not the SMY as well for... Uh, no, no. Oh, is he needed earlier? He went uh, the drums and the, the pipe into pipe? the... He did, I think. Something. Remember, we, we, we were yesterday. like, this would be a good egg. Oh, he went Solar Crest. No, it was earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, we'll see if he does the same build here. That's right, Wait. he was going to go for SMY. Yeah. Okay. So, who, who was that playing it, though? It was... Uh, was it Ben Oz? Ben, uh, no, no, it, it couldn't have been. It was, it was HF. It was HF, right? It was yeah. HFN. It's kind of funny. All right, we have a smoke at the seat. They are looking for ADR. The Weaver is there as well with no Lincoln Spear. He might be dead, actually. All right, no, we're crazy. It was game one of the series. Oh. It's been a long week, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, oh they're going to find... Oh, they're going to find Cappy. Yeah, I knew it was Ben Oz. Cappy center on it to the Burrow. Strike the counter initiation. Tomato Gold beaten. Will fall. Beautifully done. The last one coming out. ADR taking a fair bit of damage to the cog push. He's so low. They need an auto attack. They can't find him. He's not there. They're instead looking for Tavo, and he's going to survive. It goes both ways, ladies and gentlemen. The Spike Carapace as well coming out. It's going to be a three for one. SG turning it around. And Ben Haas and Matthew trying to leave, but it looks like it will be a four for one as the urn taking him down with Chikuchi coming in. One more auto attack. He does miss, but there's no trying to save him. It is going to be HFN getting the dominating spree. So just like that, with a counter initiation from Tava with a blink dagger, it is enough to turn that fight and this game around pretty much completely. Yeah, so desperately needed. Considering you just won that fight without a single spell cast from Lina, that is massive. Uh, at least, like, no Laguna Blade. Couldn't get a second round off or volley of any of his other spells. He had to escape at such low HP, so very nice stuff here. That was two, level nine, and almost a half here on this mix stack, and still staying well ahead of his uh, clockwork and levels just so important on this hero much like clockwork like you often skip the level three times. you just want all these points in the other skills and abilities um nyx especially the, the mana burns so good the carapace maxed out oh, okay. and he goes for stun but it's all on the high ground with the ai spot and that's what you're talking about exactly the lasso raiden and just non-stop single target stun. SG, they might have uh, turned the corner. It was looking like things were going to turn around again for Infamous in like that wow. mid game, which has happened every single time yep. in this series. And it, I think they've gotten past the scariest part, especially against a Viper. You know, he's still doing well. He's still pretty tanky. Now, we um, said this game one, too. It looked exactly the same, too, though. It was like, okay, they're ahead of the Viper. They have an anti mage. <laughs> this looks really good. Yeah. And they still, you know, they ran into some issues. I, I do think that this is a bit more. This is a bit better for SG Sports in those first two games. So we shall see if that is in fact the case. They need to support Steph and King Tekka. They could use some more items all around the board, really. Um, the detection is going to be important. The thing is, this Weaver's going to... He's got his Lincoln Spear, so he's pretty much past the most important part of the game for himself um, in terms of not getting lasso. Is there anything that can break it easily, like Static Link or Blink Earth Strike or Earth Spike? Well, it's line. I don't think has it. You know. No, it's pretty difficult. It's basically just Mana Drain. It's like the best ability you have, and it's not even the biggest distance. Maybe Viper Strike, I guess, but it's pretty slow. It comes out pretty late. Yeah, pretty really long animation. So, overall, it just has to be his own Force Staff that King Tekka relies on. So, the best way to counter is to get like a second Force Staff so that he can blink Force Staff Lasso and someone else Force Staffs the bat they towards your team. They need a Sentry like right now. Ooh, Vendetta and Tail coming out. They want to get this kill. There's the guy who to follow oh, King Tekka in trouble coming through, and they're going to grab two again. And they're going to come in too late. It's just going to try to find this. They will at least get one as the Earth Spike comes in. Or not. They didn't hit him. Tavo's going to get out. Nope. Here comes the Viper to come through. King Arty does hit up on that Impale. HFN trying to fly away. He will get out. They, it looks they like need King the hit and run, man. They got their two-man combo. Oh, he's actually going to make it out, I think. Yes, the Spike Carapace is so good. Oh, but he has no TP. Look out. Look the out. Arc, look out. Blade coming out. Here's the Viper Strike. They're going to turn this. And if they can get this kill, it would be huge. The LSA, he's got no TP scroll and will take down. It's a three for two trade, as I believe they will get another on the back lines. That is gigantic. At least they get the Lina, but it is still pretty bad, all things considered, for Infamous there, losing another three arrows. Oh, actually, they got the... They got a 500 damage out of it. Mostly to the Viper, though. Yeah, I guess because they, they are up 3k, so the, uh, the comeback mechanics and whatnot happening there. But uh, in the end, not much of a, an advantage differential, I don't think. I think. Okay, they lost like one. They're down like two. Okay, it, we're straddling the line of 2 to 3k here. So maybe it was like high 3ks that they were leading. As we don't have the, the exact numbers quite yet. Here. Oh, yeah, indeed it was. Wow. <laughs> it was like 39. <laughs> yep. um, either way. 
the uh, Excel. That was a nice play, right? He goes to the Mandrain. He's like, all right, if he turns to kill me, but yeah, he's dead. So Luna or the Lena makes the turn. Fight the kills her. Excel's fine with this. If it was anybody else, even the Razor, I think you, that's probably pretty good for ADR, but giving it to the Viper who now has his what he was so he was level 14 he didn't actually have his 175 health talent or obviously the 16 really talent he hasn't seen yet oh Viper Strike will break the link it's for he will time lapse back and that'll be that it looks like they really need the gem too I think but anyways so he just got his two talents on the Viper as he's 16 now which means this gets a little bit easier for Tomato he has the top net worth now um something to keep in mind so maybe this Viper can turn things around but again SG Sports is still a very good spot it is still very even 3,000, almost 4,000, but... And another thing also, there's every tower still available for infinite. Every single one. True. I think uh, my MVP so far this game is probably King RD. The scouting has been amazing. He always has these two-man impales. He's going to look for another one here to try and set up into the Blink Burrow Strike. Oh, the scan. They know. Yeah, that's what out. Okay, that will be there in time before this play but Now it's there. Will they dive behind the tower? The Ice Blast will come through on it, too. The Cog push back, and they can't get the Burrow Strike off in time. The Epicenter, he doesn't have the mana for it. Benja is still in a lot that's of the trouble. the combo breaker. They need more detection. Tavo has been spotted out. The Viper Strike, and Tavo will drop down. They're looking for more ADR on the back lines. They get off the Earth Spike along with another kill going the way of King Tekka with the Firefly. Three for nothing, and they're still looking. They have a sentry here. Matthew about to get turned on, perhaps by HFM. They need to find something. They don't have lasso. They don't he's have any real way to break this. this. <laughs> and uh, I think he's still not going to have it. Wow! And there I go, singing King Tekka's praises, and finally one fails. It's a very difficult thing to execute. You know, it's, it, this isn't just like Chrono plus one thing. This is a vendetta into two man stun and to blink into two man burrow strike the whole time the ice blast is flying and then you're trying to have adr follow through to clean up the pieces and it's extremely difficult and they've been executing it really well and i do think king tech is or rather king rd is the big reason for that but speaking of king tech a mid lane he's gonna wander himself in was a little worried he might have had four staff there but it's not quite finished yet although he does have the gold for it oh my god excel is so poor he just has tranquil boots they really need to get some detection on the map that is something that he desperately needs even he's just trying to farm just any camps he can. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably start seeing some wars come up from Matthew. I think he has everything that he needs to be effective this game uh, in comparison to how good Blink Line will be. We shall see if he can get detection down. There is ATP coming in Ice Blast to, to fly through, just looking like they want to go on Excel. He is probably dead. Yes, he is. Shadow will come out. He's done so. That's the vision. They know that there's a ward here probably now. There's a good chance. Um, you on your mid. A lot of rotations coming through. Uh oh, Ben Haas. How do you kick this off? Uh, cold feet, apparently. And then back. Like, Tavo's over here, and they, they just saw him. Excel's pinging. They go he's dead. He's, he's the over you know, vision here. Watch. But... All right, so. Oh, man, they really need a tower. They need some map control for Infinite. They can't find it right now. They have the pipe up for the Razor. He is going for the Soul Crest again, as we saw previously. Infamous still in some trouble. HSG doing a great job, but they're, it feels like they're barely hanging out. Right now. Despite this big net worth that this Weaver has, he doesn't have the, the damage item yet, and that's going to come into the Jesus lane. With that, that makes things a whole lot easier. Tavo looking for a Burrow Strike here, but King Tekka is going to get out of the Ice Blast, which will keep him alive. Matthew thinking about where to drop the Sentry, and he will just get it. Although it was about to fall anyways, 30 seconds. Well, we'll see. Once they have the Solar Crest up, maybe that'll be the time for them to head into the Roche Pit. Try and take down this uh, beast rather quickly. Radiant can also opt in towards it themselves, uh, using the Weaver, the Bugs. Very handy tool for it, but they're going to have to hit one of these big combos somewhere in the other pit. You know, they take a fight in here, and, well, the Dyer know that as well. Because, as you were saying, Sentry, Sentry. Uh, we got a, how about a Sentry? You know what would be really great right here? Have another Sentry. sentry. That's poor Lion. They're like, at some point, we need to buy a gem. Yeah. And like, mind you, the one, look at this Radiant Ward, though. Like, the one, the one spot. Area, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll drop another sentry there. Can they actually get this tower? Uh, probably not. Kennedy's coming in, and it's already... I think, I think they can get it. Tavo's at bottom lane. He can't get here in time. But the thing is, can they get this tower for free? And I, I mean... So. All right, Tavo's oh, coming out, okay. but they see it. Yeah, they need to leave. And there's fire on the tank when right. comes in. They got the blank. tower. Kennedy is on the hunt. He has BKB, but if he gets stunlocked, that's it. No, this isn't going to work, buddy. This might be a dead hero. They need an LSA or a Burrow Strike. He's going to try to turn on King RD. Here we go. TP out from King RD. He will make it. No, he doesn't actually get 
thought the Ice Blast would come through, but that won't do nearly enough as the BKB is still rolling. HFN is chasing after King Tech. If the Fusal Blade will go, well, he will blink. blink. That was beautifully done, but Shikuchi's still chasing him. They need more help coming out. Tomato now pretty low. The Burrow Strike, he's in trouble. He's the the Epic Show, the fourth death is there. They need something. Tavo, hook shot going into the creeps of the back line. Now Matthew getting confused up. This is trouble, so the LSA will go through. He will go down. It will be a trade. It's a two for one so far. In the meantime, the AA is completely across the map. Can they find anything else? Lasso, they've got it. ADR, they're going to turn and fight. Ben Haas, pretty low. Now HFN has to run. ADR will get dropped down. Can they find this Weaver? He's so tough to take down. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you just leave if you're infamous. Ben Haas might go for a TP. He will buy one, I would imagine. Ice Blast coming in. Ben Haas will get hit, but where's the Weaver? I don't think it's enough to shatter him. Oh, the, the creep spots him. The range creeps, though. They know he's lurking, lurking around here. Around. They're staying around him in it. And remember, I he has a pipe Even if three. he kills him, he can just leave, though. That's the thing, I think. They'd have don't have enough disables. Maybe with like a uh, mana drain earth spike. They're gonna shrine instead. I think it's too scary. Wow, what a fight coming out from Infamous again. It honestly, probably could have went even better if Matthew was able to find something, but unfortunately, the hook onto the creep wave and he didn't even cancel the epicenter. I thought that was really interesting. It was more like he just wanted to make sure there wasn't the follow up from the Lena because he understood that they were tanky enough to survive. Uh, and he, he was right, you know, that hook shot, if the Lena was closing in to look for the LSA, he possibly would have either hit her or he would have had the cogs off, but she was forced to back away because of him. Yep. So it looks bad for Matthew, but it's still a I pretty fight-saving right. play. Yeah, I think he did the right thing. Yeah, like you're still getting in that fray that blocks everyone else off from cleaning up that razor and forcing him to retreat. Because he doesn't care if he dies. No. You lose tomato or He's ben the ward Haas. buyer, guys. He's, you know, he's got no gold oh, anyway. He just gold. goes down to zero oh, by Oh no, centuries. my next item, which I don't even know what it is, is even further away. What am I going to do? And uh, Lion's actually result resorting to a blink. He buys himself the bracer. He's like, I'm never going to get a blink, guys. He wants that I'm gem. I'm just getting the gem. Yeah. The gem is I mean. crucial in this game. Slap that baby on King Tekka. All right. Is Tomato, to, is, is Tomato able to do the same magic he was uh, able to do last game? The real the question. question is, how do they approach Roche? Are Smoke they just going it? in? I don't think so. I think they need they, to take. They want the kill. You know, you have a bat rider. You always want to go for the kill. I think, I Ooh, think that AA. Tavo would be the best one. Yes, they're going straight for Tavo. They find the lasso. They're going to bring him down pretty quickly, too. I don't think there's any way they can save him. The ice blast will come out. It will sail through and not hit. Near D nearby. They need some protection. They won't drop anything yet. Battery supposed to come through. They're trying to find Cat. Trying to see if he's not successful the hook shot. Now the earth spike to fall. Can they get any more? King RD. Oh my god, he gets blown up by that finger. Laguna will go, and Excel is still fighting fit. Now they're looking to break this link through, and they will, but they will lose Excel in the meantime. They ADR. Drop the century, and they will drop ADR as well in the back lines. Tomato coming through. It's four dead. Infamous, how do they do it every time? It's insane. The vision, man. So good. Catching Tavo was just brutal. That scan was so good. They were just like, maybe there's someone in here farming. So they slap a ward on the high ground. They blink on him. The best possible target, yes. without question. Yeah. Um, and plus, the Nick wasn't there. He was in the mid. So had he jumped someone in the mid, maybe there was a chance for the Caravus coming out. Like, he was hiding in the trees, kind of expecting this aggression. But sadly, it was the one hero that he wasn't able to save. And it all works out perfectly for Infamous. Now, they can even back towards Roche, potentially. They would love to get a free pick while Lena's they still dead. And ADR is up in 10 seconds. Although they just use Ice Blast, but I don't think they do as fast enough. No, it's not worth it right now. Everyone's missing. They already used that Shrine last time. Yeah, this is chill out. This is the right play. You've gotten yourself a nice little advantage for Infamous. But again, SG still has... This is still only a 2k lead. This is nothing. You know, this is still... This Weaver is still out of control. He has yet to die. He has a Diffusal Blade. He's trying to get to a BKB next to have full defensive capabilities so he can just stand and deliver instead of just trying to skid around and hope that his Lincoln Spear doesn't break. So he gets this BKB and things get a lot easier for HFN and SG Esports. And uh, I imagine he will get there very soon as he's already got 2,200 gold in the bank. And SG Esports are still very much alive. ADR though at four blood soul charges. He's been getting caught. He's been slowing down a lot. Still the same net worth as Super Ben Jazz, but the four bloodstone charges is pretty, pretty rough. Right now they're just kind of following around HFN, staying Save together, trying not to get last. Save the gem on King Tekka. His Firefly is about to be done though. Uh, this could be a great he grab. almost saw him, did he? I don't think so. There was a ping. It wasn't the line. They're jumping in. Last one to come through. Spike Carapace. They're going to find this. They're going to look for a hookshot. Misses. Spike Protect to come out. Ice Blast along with the Laguna coming through. Can they get ADR the BKB? But they need to chase him down. It looks like they will. He has no way of getting out. No TP. And he will deny himself. He won't give that gold away. But again, the Bloodstone Charges are now down to three and getting worse and worse as the game progresses. But immediately, SG head to this mid lane. It's an instance of a rare time where you're, well, number one, happy Fireflies on cooldown because he carapaced and it didn't do anything to King Tech. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just walks away. Or you don't have Aghanim. So that also gives damage. <laughs> it was so confused. The guy was like, why isn't he taking damage? He's got the uh, last. Oh, there's no Firefly. It's yep. just like, it's so weird to see sometimes. But, uh, 
they will push bottom. They, they're gonna take maybe another tower. They have the Viper and Razor, which is more than enough. I, think. I would say so. Should be quite dead. Weaver just doing everything he can, trying to split push. Has the defusal blade. Been using that to try and control up these heroes. They might try to fight this. Tavo's coming in. Yeah, oh, I mean, we saw Tombo win a huge fight down here earlier today, but I don't know if we can do it again. Quick will go, and Infants are going to leave. They're like, this is not worth it. They're going to TP immediately. Can He's they got a force staff. Tomato, who will make it away. See. The burrow strike's not there. Time Ben Haas. He has no TP. He's getting it out of his backpack right now, trying to phase away. The drum is not there, but he will not get caught, it looks like, as they don't have HFN in time. And so they get out. They will not get the tower, though. It is uh, sitting at 247 HP, but a good escape from Infamous, to be sure. Yeah, very scary stuff. Of course, it looks like, you know, we can see where they are, but with the night vision, they have no idea that guy's just typing or uh, TPing in front of their face. By the time they do, it's just a second too late. Look at this. They're invading the enemy jungle. There is a Radiant Observer Ward. The vision advantage is there for Eski, and Tabo finds at least an in his room. Now, yeah. passing past a Radiant Ward, that is a big deal when they have this gem, but it's not going to end up mattering. They can just go down and clear up that tower. You can already see the drawings there. Say, hey, look, but, but get out of here. Like, we got this over oh, here. Man. King Tech with a BKB is huge. No more spike hit. Well, the thing is, if. Uh, yeah, yeah he's just going to run over this fight. It's going to be disgusting. I'm pretty sure. Like, it's all on Weaver to clean him up. And even Dying he has a Maelstrom as part of his build, so a lot of that damage is going to be negated. Oh, he actually went the... He for, he didn't go the BKB. He had it shift queued with Maelstrom. Oh, on the Weaver? Yeah. Mm. Interesting. So uh, they like the fact that uh, Bomb is being pushed by Tavo. When they went to go do it, they see him pushing it. They saw him TP in, I'm guessing, with the bots. And they said, all right, let's just go Roche. Because we know Sanking can't join them. They're looking to maybe go on... Oh, Weaver. that... This is a little bit risky, but... It could be game ending if they grab him, of course. Oh, this is crazy. There's so much risk. There's a lot of risk. The ice blast is going to come through. So, Vendez gets out of time. Tomato doesn't really carry. BKB handy has corrosive skin. Um, <laughs> he just ain't. Can someone TP me? Or force staff me, please? He's fine. So, they get a lot of damage onto him, but good play by Tavo to get all the pressure in the bottom lane, make his way back in time too, and now he just has the bots right back up. Push maybe into the tier 3 top. I don't know if they have time. They There's did use the shrine. They're just going to go right back in. Get that, get that ward. Oh, he's dodging. He's watching out they, for ice blast. They smoked on Tavo already. They're trying to make it to the Can they do it in time? No, I don't think so. They might be able to do something. Not at all. That's the first push of the game, by the way. Keeping out already is King Tekka. Meanwhile, HFN is in the jungle. They don't know that, I don't I'll think. Take your um, oh, they, they see him. Now. They there is a hook him. shot. Matthew That's wants true. this. Oh, good dodge. That was, beautiful, that was beautiful. He needed to get that dodge or else he gets caught, and that's troublesome. Yep. Oh, man. Pablo's right back down bottom, though, and again, he has his bots ready. So he can just kind of ditch into the trees, head into another lane, try to keep the pressure up. I really like the decision to go bots as well. Like, he went this blink right into bots and. Uh, well, after the Midas, and since then he's been able to farm up into a Yule Scepter too, because he knew how this game was going to go. Uh, the five man was looking like he was going to be stronger from Infamous. They've been having some trouble, and so we, we have to expand ourselves into the late game and try and get more farm onto our Weaver and, uh, and myself, uh, if he's thinking of himself on the Sand King. So, lots of the best way to do it. Mid lane. Lasso, they will find King RG again. They have the battery still going. Maybe they turn this around from SG. They don't have any heroes nearby. Here, he's going to try to get out. Like here, we go, but he's going to burn down. And burn alive, and that's going to be a kill for King Tekka. Nicely done. Meanwhile, top lane, HFN is behind. Uh, Just Tomato. casually chilling next walks, to each other. Walks right by him. Yep. Uh, they're going to see him cut the free plays. Can they kill him? They don't have last I, I think that's why he feels fine up here. He knows. He has to do everything he can, even if it's very dangerous. We have the hook shot, but oh. the range is just not there. There it was, but they didn't have any way to cancel that. Didn't have time. Yeah, the range, the uh, hook shot was just a little bit too far away. Viper trying to go on ADR. No way of stopping this TP, and uh, ADR is fine. Uh, Burrow strike away as Excel is also trying to chase. He actually remember when you said he's not going to be able to give Link anytime soon. Well, they did win the, a bunch of fights and take Roche. That's so true. That's that's true. That, was, that was a while ago. But you're right. He, he had it. given up hope. And I'm not. He even bought a cloak. I feel like that was that was like me calling you out. And that was not my intention. Yeah, whatever, Mont. God damn it. You trip. all heard it. Do you, do you, remember, <laughs> do you remember when you were wrong? <laughs> S and Y also was almost finished up here. So these are the S and Y brothers, Viper and Razor, two filthy lane dominators working together. <laughs> these are some baby night heroes right you, here, man. Yeah, that is, uh, that's actually the most true thing I've ever heard. You think of baby night, you think of this and like OG. Sniper. That's the other word. That's it. That guy's just nasty. <laughs> Oh, baby night. That's hilarious. They are two nasty brothers, that's right. 
And uh, they're getting bigger and bigger as the game progresses. Tomato, 19,000 net worth. I don't know how he does it with this hero, but he makes the right decision. You know what's the most impressive, though? As much as we're talking about Infamous, because they're like winning fights and dictating the pace over the map, it's crazy how much they've kept this gold close from SD. Yes. Like, you look at the net worth and you're like, oh, who's winning? You know? Like, it, it, it just feels like there's so much more power inside Infamous. They have the better initiation right now. Ooh, what a time lapse. HFN is just. He is breaking ankles in the most serious of ways. It's yeah. actually nuts. And then Tavo again up top of these bots. Like, they really can't get a good handle on these lanes at the current moment. And they're having, gonna have a hard time actually making good use of this Aegis. It gets easier when the cheese is added on as well, of course, because it doesn't expire. But we uh, we don't have that long left to go. Only two more minutes. So, yeah. I don't they, think they're gonna get anything done with it. I, I would hard. like to see them try and force top and get this tower. That, uh, to me, seems like the best one. Because uh, if you can force out, this is game three, get that last tier two and make it so that if you get in the base and take some big fights, you can mega. You yes. know, you don't want to be the team that's forced to go back because you don't have enough time to get the tier fours, but you don't, you can't clean up that last set of racks because that tier two is out on the map. So put that pressure there and uh, look at the way they're doing it too. Kind of like a pincer maneuver, where squeezing in both lanes and only offering up one to SG Esports right now. So they're all inning on it, which is fine, uh, but uh, it should work out better for Infamous. I mean, they, think. they're going to probably trade this tower super low. Yeah, uh, bottom. Which, okay. I think you're happier going high ground though. Just yeah, making sure you have your TPs, getting out of his backpack here for Ben Oz. Yeah, they really are trying to Dyer's make this a serious tower. play. King Tekka buys the TP. Everyone's heading the shop, buying TPs. They know what they're Dyer's about to do. Chip Fan has pushed the tier two tower. They're already TP back to King Tekka. He's attack. gonna try and cancel this uh, Weaver TP. Yeah, the Weaver's already gone, I think. King Tekka's just trying to clear out the creep wave. And they're gonna come back. It looks like, and that's gonna be four versus five. Uh, Tipping into the shrine is going to be the Weaver, but they have no way of stopping it. Now this could turn into a fight that maybe Infamous don't want to take. Although the Weaver breaks the, the Liquid Spear, but he is gonna be able to get out, and they've separated him. He's pretty far away too. King RD might get jumped on. They're looking oh, to blink and excel. Earth Spike can't find it. There's going to be bad as the gem. Man, that was. I'm coming. That it worked out though. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. They got the tower. Everything's still fine. They have the Aegis. They have one siege. They need to kill it. They're pinging it. They're saying, protect the siege it, engine. HFN's going to cut the three. Yeah, they, they, they got, got one, shot. though. They found RD. There's going to be Cog's four step away, though. He should be fine. In the meantime, there's going to be Excel throwing out that uh, finger. Meaning, oh. Nappy yeah, show, though. He's got the blade now off, though. Now ADR, the shrine is there, and it's keeping him alive for now. But in the meantime, that, that, that back catapult, now. dude. I can't believe it's, it's still so alive. Clutch. It's gonna get the tier three tower, and they can just back. Uh oh, Tomato might be in trouble. He has no BKB, but he gets the Aegis. He's about to actually expire, nice and it's now the Aegis is gone. He needs to leave, and they will be able to protect him. It looks like he's able to get out. They won't chase him down. They won't go up the high ground here for SG Esports. Tomato living dangerously, but now they can head to the shrine and take even more map control. Well, pretty much the first bit's map control considering they've been having a tough time keeping these lanes protected to begin with. Just an excellent play in general, all around there. Uh, you, you can see them pinging the catapult. They understand exactly what's happening. They see the creep cut and they're like, look, protect this thing. Make a barrier around them. Make sure that they're not going to get back to our protection. It's huge. It allows them to get that tier three. The dodge at the end there as well from Viper from that ice blast. And then even Matthew, he went down, but he got his blade mail off before that Laguna blade. Took a third of her HP from the, Le the Lena and she got forced off her own shrine because of it. Yeah. And now they're going to be able to clean up these shrines. That means the next Roche is theirs. They play the slow game till the end. And this is what Infamous looked like in game number one. They're actually pushing in towards the base. They have a pretty deep... This is a board that I would not have expected ever to be up. And uh, that's pretty good. It gets a lot of vision. Yeah, that's a clutch one right there. It's a very tough dive, though. Even something like A will be nice. And this is where you expect them. That's why the sentry's here. You think the ward's going to be right here looking for that... Uh, Bat Rider or a Clockwork Initiation. This will probably be a Matthew Yolo play. He doesn't have the Force Staff, so it's a little less effective than usual, but he goes in, gives the vision for the Bat Rider, and you follow up on the important target. He's going to try a Glimmer play instead. They're going to go for DRD. They'll force him back up to TV. There, this is a dead potential of disruption. They need to find 4DR. They get the stun off as well. HFN taking a lot of damage at the time up. ADR gets forced back. They will kill two. Now there's going to be the LSA. They're diving to deep Ben Hodge, taking a lot of damage here. This is too much. The Ice Blast will go. Tomato wants the melee creep, or melee rags rather, but. Is it going to be enough? Tomato now getting turned on. The Burrow Strike will come through. He has no BKB. He's in trouble. He's going to try to find King RD, but he gets turned on. It is going to be three dead for Infamous. Can Ben Haas get out? He has a TB scroll. He does have five back. The Burrow Strike and Ben Haas will fall as well. They get the melee Rex, but I don't know if that's worth it, Trent. Yeah, it's a bit of a heavy price. Uh, we're gonna time will tell exactly how much the rating can get out of this one. But I did really like the initiation. I thought that like, even that back line, he was just like guerrilla warfare from that. He just got in there, disrupted everything that he could, and uh, getting the melee racks. A huge goal for them. Uh, 
Oh, Tin Tackle really can't go down here. He'll be oh, okay. Oh, man. They're probably going to have to buy back in both of these cores. I don't they're know. They have Glyph. They can chill out. The wave is still... It's eh. 53 seconds. It's pushing in mid pretty hard. It's pushing in bottom as well. Pushing in top, too. They're getting full control over the map. They've spread out so much that they're not immediately sieging mid. And with the finger still available, with limit cape and whatnot, I think it is a little bit risky. This way, at least you're getting the full map control, and you can at least try and set yourself up in that next Roshan, and that should be the real goal, I feel like, for SG. Yes. They want to try to get something out of this map, and try to go for the both people go, but it's fine. Zabo looking for a bro, he will find it, he's in deep, the ice blast to come through. They get off the spike, Carapace along with the Impale, now they've been dead to follow up, they go, there goes the BKB, they get the hook shot off on the HFN, there's no buyback skill, Matthew's still able to get out for now. Time lapse will come through, they are not focusing on the building. They use some shrines, Zabo looking for another bro, he misses Onyx Cell, and HFN still chasing the next go. He's still fine, the life drain, or rather mana drain to come through King RD. Now they'll turn their attention back onto the building. All right, there's crazy. no glyph, they, ha they still have their racks though, they will lose their tier 3 more than likely, now they need to get out. Blockwork is keeping in, looks like he did actually go for it. He cancels it in the end. They will be able to make it away because they did not the have shrine. that clockwork. The shrine coming through. Viper trying to chase anybody that he can. HFN pops his BKB just to get out and will do so. Okay, so they don't have to buy back. They lose the tier 3 tower. That could have been so much worse for Infamous, and they somehow don't lose anybody to begin with in that fight. Oh, God. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, so worth it, though. You keep the buyback advantage. Even if it's losing a tier 3, that is the best possible play, I think, from Infamous in that situation. Don't lose anyone, and man, Excel played like absolutely to the limit in that fight. Even after he glimmer caved, he starts going with the mana drain. Like this guy must be a lion player to go in for something like that, where you're using like the channeled spell during your invis just to annoy the stupid weaver. Got him. Uh, I mean, I can remember some Excel lion days way back in the day, but it's certainly been a while at least for me to cast it. He's feeling it. Uh, they still don't have a way really to deal with this Weaver though, and ADR has survived the last four fights and he's starting to get some. Yeah, he's 10 0 and 8, man. This is, uh. Dyer's bottom to be sure. It's all about Roche at this point. And Roche will respawn in 123. We have the official time now. This is really starting to test the Tomato Viper um, in this game. He will get the next shrine, the last shrine in fact. Uh, for. But. We shall see. He's working on a butterfly next. He's built up the uh, talisman of evasion. Does he get buyback? He needs 100 gold, so he should be fine getting that. No worries. I think you get control here. Uh, watch the runes. Try and get good ones for the Roche fight. Uh, it's past 40 minutes. There's two. It's a huge deal lately. We've heard a couple of pro players at the summit just talk about like they shouldn't be getting runes. If you're losing, like, and you're the winning team, much like Infamous kind of feel like they are, at least in terms of the map control right now, they need to deny out those big runes from the enemy team. They can just be game ending, honestly. Arcane, DD, even a regen in a bottle. We've talked about it a little bit, uh, especially in the mainstream, about uh, double damage and just how good it feels in terms of winning a game. Or taking Roche. Yes. And that is the big rune. We just saw tomorrow take a shrine with it. And, and that might not seem like a lot, but at this point, anything is good. So they are now trying to get a little bit of map control back from SG after taking that tier 3. Guess what? It's another DD rune. Okay. And guess what's going to be up in 18 seconds? Oh, with Roche. And guess who has a flare and better vision control over the Roche pit? It's the Dire. Yeah. So it's still pretty sketch for Infamous. They did just pick up a gem on the Nyx Assassin, so they'll be able to counter. Oh my god, you have an illusion to scout it. Are you serious? Wait, what? Mm, Alright, uh, it's gonna work out anyway, I'm sure. Oh, they're hooking. Oh, shot. They have found Cap's stock push back. He is dead. And uh let's just walk into Roche, Roche and uh Hey, oh. Good hey to guys, see you, buddy. There's a Roche here. Are they gonna smoke and try to contest this? Because this is Aegis and Cheese. Uh, can you fight with I don't think you can fight with that ice block. Probably. You actually can't. I think this is probably going to be oh, This is, you know, we've seen some amazing plays. So we've seen some crazy plays. I don't, I'm not sure which way to put it. From both teams. Things happen that you're not expecting. This is the most And I'm expecting an infamous Dota. going up top and taking this game. The Aegis and the Cheese, this is so. the most unexpected game of Dota I've ever seen. But we, we have to expect the unexpected. Because Honestly, that's what this game has taught us so far. This game is so crazy that SPT with we were not dying once. That's how crazy this game is. And uh, I, I wouldn't be shocked to see that. However, SG still have a, a good defense at hand. They have some great players. Tablo, of course, on the same team. Expected to make some big plays to turn this round. BKB is up and it is a 10 second BKB duration for Ben Jazz. He is going to start building to the Aghanim Scepter, but every other item has been oh, crucial along the way. <laughs> oh, uh, King Tech is going to be off the ring. I haven't played with that item. He's really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Maybe it'll just be an egg. We'll see. We could just straight up buy it right now, but it's all on King Tekka. We've been seeing a lot of pings from him in the late game. He's throwing some out more uh, right now. He's making the calls to the offlane. This guy needs to find a sick grab, and it's so tempting with that vision there. They can't de-ward right now. If they try, they're going to get forced to have to outside the base. So they have this free vision inside. 
is gonna go. They don't want to fight this. Oh, it, he's coming to place the sentry. You gotta be careful. Oh, he wants to get four staff. Who wants to stand still and hit the sword? Can we find a rotating to this just side? For nothing. Uh, this is dangerous. LSA will hit. Mato. That's the agent. They're gonna throw. He's gonna get forced away. He's gonna get Lagoon as well. And now he's gonna get to the low ground safe and sound. They missed to go. the jump. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, probably a reset and nobody dying here, which I would assume favors infamous. You wait till your BKBs are back up for King Tekka. Uh, his last is back to 40. So you don't really need to try to push this in too quickly. Hey, if you're Radiant Man, you just held. You didn't use anything too important. You know, you're throwing all these these spells that, that they'll be back, you know, just as soon as the he's BKB's back. He's actually going to buy Actory. He's got Alright, well so much for he worrying has no about buyback. Lasso. That is insane. You actually are in such a... This is not like you're super far ahead and you don't really think that they can come back if they kill you. Like, you bought an Octarine Core and don't have buyback. You're crazy, Tekka. You're actually insane. <laughs> but that's fine. You know what? This is great Dota. I love it. Jump in. Earth Spike will hit. They need a last out of ball, but it's not there in time. They know it. Now they're going to find the Burrow Click. That will be Matthew. He gets forced himself back. Butterfly is now done. For Tomato. The Flare will come through. Tomato still going to work on this... Wave. They will force the pull and he gets tail as well. Like this will break. Uh, so. Have his time lapse still up, ready to go. Lasso is ready. King Tekka holding on to it. The cold feet. He will get forced out. Now the burrow onto two. The fight about to break. And they will get Excel almost instantly. BKB. They want the lasso. Can they find it? Who is it on? It's the Weaver. They need to bring him down. The hook shot is there. He's got buyback. He might he need to time use lapse. it. And he will. He's gonna get right back into the fray. The BKB pops. Aegis is down. Matthew is going to be next. They bought back in the line. He's trying to make it back into the fray. That is Matthew down the burrow trick. BKB in time from Tomato. Beautifully done. Viper Strike now ADR getting forced into the high ground. Tavo is low. He's going to be able to use himself. King Tekka about to fall. Again, he doesn't have buyback. Something to keep in mind. King RD going to get caught next and drop an ultra kill for Tomato. The late game Viper. It is not a myth. And now he's looking for ADR as well. The LSA will just narrowly hit. He gets to the shrine in time. It is only the two cores left. The Weaver as well as the Lena. And they're about to lose two lanes of racks, both top and mid. Oh, HFN SG trying to get bottom to do anything he can. This is so close. They're about to get the Lincoln Spear break. He's getting dropped. He's going to get the time lapse off in time. The Laguna Blade will come through, but does not too much, except for bring Excel down. Two gems on the deck. Now man fighting HFN, trying to do what he can. This is getting closer and closer to the tier three tower. If they get Magus, it's almost certainly end. And it will be because they get the kill. Benjaz will fall, but it's too little too late. I don't know if ADR can do this on his own. Maybe with the help of the Ice Blast coming in. Now Tomato has to leave. The buyback from King RD. He will force himself away. He has a TP, but it's in his backpack. He has the BKB TP righty with no way to cancel it. He's got no mana for it. Yeah, he actually is just going to have to run, but he should be fine. They won't get Megas, and they will not win the game straight up for Infamous. But boy, do they do some serious damage. Oh, there were some good plays during that fight too. The patience as well, just numerous weights on the force staff, like ensuring that they were gonna be able to save Matthew. They get this little bit of a bait outside the face too. And just uh, even like the Weaver, I thought he was gonna clean that fight up. I was scared. Like I thought they were about to have to throw some buybacks here from Infamous, but dude, how is this Viper so farmed and does so much damage? Why can't I play that? <laughs> because it's not you, buddy. It's Tomato. And he is, is absolutely destroying. 18, 3, and 10. There's a little prediction here on the side that says, uh, who gets the longest kill streak? Well, I went with a, a, a 10, and that is the current one that we have in the lead yeah. from that Viper. He's destroying right now. Yeah, it is looking good oh, for okay. Infamous, but it is not over yet. We have 47 minutes into the game. We have how long in Roach? At least three minutes. Respawn time for Benji has 28 seconds. A couple of buybacks used on both sides, more particularly the Weaver. Dude, these creeps are getting close. This is, uh, they got the oh, Tavo has an arcane rune. That's actually pretty nice. Might be something to stymie them for a bit longer. And they're getting a little close to the Razor. Maybe time to chill a bit. But they're also thinking that uh, Radiant are, you know, have the same idea. Where they're like, oh, why would they come in when the Razor's still dead, right? Oh, he's buying he's he's getting boss. channel to Mato. Does he get out the four step away in time? The lasso is there as well. On to ADR. They need to bring him down. I do believe he might have had back. No, he doesn't. Down for 64 seconds. The hook shot. Razor looking for the battery. So King RD is in trouble. He will try to TP home just barely, but will not make it the cock push. Matthew beautifully done. Unbelievable. It will be infamous almost certainly. Taking it 3-0. They are going to TI. Taking down SG, the beauties of the Kiev Major. For the first time in the history of Dota 2, we had, we had one squad make it to Frankfurt from the beautiful region, but this is the first time to get a direct regional invite to TI. Welcome to the international infamous. That is insane. They, they take them down 3-0, and again, dude, it was that rough laning stage that happened once more for infamous.